Hello everyone, this is your host, your friend, your boy, Jet Black, the one and only, here with another exciting video, and in this video I'm going to be playing some AI Dungeon 2. Some AI Dungeon 2. In this video I'm going to be playing as Weapon Ultra. He's an open source superhero that anyone can use in any story, game, or creative project they want. Um, I have a whole bunch of videos on Weapon Ultra, definitely make sure to check out the Weapon Ultra playlist on the channel. If you guys don't know anything about Weapon Ultra, don't worry, this video is going to be be a like standalone Weapon Ultra adventure, so you don't have to know anything else about Weapon Ultra or know any lore about the character. You can hop in and just have a good time as I go on a 30 minute mission as Weapon Ultra. So without further ado, let me start the 30 minute timer and let's hop into today's Weapon Ultra adventure. Check it out. Generating story. Um, also, if you guys like AI Dungeon 2 content, I post AI Dungeon 2 videos every day, so definitely make sure to smash subscribe and hit that notification bell. Uh, so I noticed that this says game, so I'm going to retry. Uh, I don't like it when the AI says that I'm like in a game. The AI doesn't know what to say. Oh man, I hope the AI isn't bricking so early. We just started the adventure. Let's see. What? Alien versus Predator. <laughs> I didn't expect that. Uh, I'm just retrying until it doesn't break. I can always undo if the AI breaks again. So let's see. Um, so the AI this time didn't break, but it did take information that's in the world info and then change it to something else. So I'm going to undo, and we're just going to go based off of this beginning prompt. You are Wayne Holt. You are a highly regarded agent of the CIA. You are also a famous superhero known as Weapon Ultra. You wear a special symbiote suit that grants you superhuman strength, the ability to create energy constructs of anything you can imagine, the ability to fly through outer space, and protection from psychic attacks. The personification of the universe known as The Expanse has selected you to be the protector of the universe. There are enemy agents from all over the world who want to steal your symbiote and harness its power to take over the world. There are also entities from other universes who want to destroy you so that they can take over the universe. You are currently in your office at CIA headquarters. You can either go visit your CIA mission handler to receive a new mission or fly into space and ask the Expanse for a new mission. In this episode, I am going to be flying into space to ask the Expanse for a new mission. So I'm going to fly into space and ask the Expanse for a new mission. And as you guys heard, the Expanse is the personification of the universe itself. Um, it's interesting how the AI will portray the Expanse. Uh, it's different almost every time. Um, let's see. You stand in front of a portal to space. The sky behind you is filled with stars. In front of you is endless blackness. You feel a strong wind blowing against you, as if space itself is trying to push you back. Fascinating. I'm going to say, Oh, great Expanse. I am your protector. Weapon Ultra. I am here to do your will. What threatens the universe? How may I protect you? Okay. So let's see what mission we get from the Expanse. Um, in case you guys didn't know, Weapon Ultra is one of my favorite open source superheroes, so I really like doing these Weapon Ultra episodes. The wind blowing against your face suddenly stops. The silence is eerie. Your body begins to tingle, as if it's falling asleep. Hmm. Okay, I'm curious to see what's happening. I'm going to say, Great Expanse, please give me a mission. beg of you. I am here to serve. I wonder if it wants the expanse to communicate with me like through the wind, like the, I guess, space wind or solar wind that keeps hitting me. You wait patiently, 
The silence continues, and you feel yourself falling forward into the portal. Seconds before you hit the blackness of space, you're pulled back into your apartment by a powerful force. Into my apartment? That's interesting. So I'm going to look around for a sign from the expanse to inform me of the expanse's mission for me. So, hmm, the, the AI is acting funny this time around. Instead of the expanse just saying, your mission is to do this, it seems like part of the adventure will be me just trying to figure out what my mission is. Your office is a mess. Unopened letters and packages addressed to you cover the floor. Dirty clothes pile up along the walls. The air in the room smells stale, like old coffee and cheap cigarettes. Your desk is covered with piles of paper, most of them requiring your urgent attention. Man, why is Weapon Ultra such a slob? Hmm. I'm going to think to myself, maybe one of these urgent documents will, have, ooh, will be a mission of great importance. I want to complete a mission today to help protect the universe. Yeah, so yeah, maybe this is what I need in order to figure out what I'm going to do. I need to like get a mission and complete a mission in less than 30 minutes. Underneath a pile of papers is a shoebox. You open the shoebox and find stacks of photographs. You find one picture in the stack it is filled with people you don't recognize. Interesting. Hmm. I'm going to try to remember. Well, I guess not remember. I'm going to try to identify where the picture was taken. Yeah. Um, so I guess this is supposed to be like a clue to some greater mission. Do, 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 do. You flip the photograph over and see that it was taken at a Mexican bar and restaurant. The sign above the bar reads Cinco de Mayo. Okay, so I'm going to head to the Cinco de Mayo restaurant. And this is really just me going by the seat of my pants. Uh, in the hopes of finding a mission to complete, to help protect the universe. You hope that this photograph was a sign from the expanse. The expanse speaks in mysterious ways. You arrive at the restaurant and enter through the front door. You look around and see that the restaurant has been abandoned. You see a dusty mariachi band on a stage. The lights in the room are flickering on and off, and there are several broken plates and cups lying on the floor. Hmm. I'm going to say, I am here looking for a mission to protect the universe. I believe that the expanse has brought me to this restaurant. I keep spelling restaurant incorrectly. I notice that you and this dusty mariachi band, it's so weird that they're dusty. Why would they be dusty? Are the only people here. Are you threatening the universe somehow? Yeah, is this like a secret hideout? Like how the Joker will take over like an abandoned carnival? Is this like a villainous mariachi band that's taken over an abandoned restaurant? The mariachi band begins to play a song. You recognize the song as Silito Lindo. You look around the room and see that there are small orange lights floating through the room. The lights fly around the room, humming the tune of the mariachi band's song. What? Hmm. 
So I'm going to say, strange. These lights appear to have a mind of their own. Lights. Do you have a mission for me? I am looking for a mission to protect the universe. What if the mariachi band can, like, control the lights? And the lights are, like, sophisticated, like, weapons. Like, what if they start, like, shooting lasers at me or something? We'll see where this goes. The lights continue to hum and fly around the room. You notice a sign over the kitchen door that reads, Danger, do not enter. The lights seem to be coming from the kitchen. You hear a loud crash in the kitchen, followed by a scream. I'm going to say, Oh, no. Maybe the threat to the universe is whatever is inside that kitchen. Okay. So let's see what's going on. Also, I probably could have put a question mark there. But let's see what's happening. Do, do, do. You are hit in the head by a falling ceiling tile. What? You hear a low chuckle from above you, followed by a loud crash. You look up and see that the kitchen fan has fallen through the ceiling and destroyed the light fixture that was illuminating the room. Hmm. Okay. So I'm going to summon an energy construct. Of a lantern to help light the room. And then I'm going to say, hmm, who is there? Are you some evil villain that is threatening the universe? Okay. Well, let's see if this is the mission that we've been looking for. This is such a like weird turn of events, I would say. Dun, 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 dun. The room illuminates and you see a woman lying under the kitchen fan. The woman is wearing a white dress covered in dust and cobwebs. You recognize her as Mary McDonald, the inventor of the telephone. She has been dead for over 100 years. Oh. Oh, what the fuck? Um. I am confused. <laughs> I'm going to look around for whoever dropped the ceiling tile on my head and laughed earlier. I feel like I'm in like a Stephen King like horror movie where it like starts off with like really subtle stuff happening. But then as it continues, it starts to get, like, crazier and more scary. The woman runs to the door of the abandoned restaurant and tries to open it, but it's locked. She fumbles with the door handle, but is unable to open it. You turn the doorknob and open the door for her. Hmm. I'm going to say... Mary McDonald? You died over a hundred years ago. I am looking for a mission to save the universe. Do you have a mission for me? Excuse me. Is this building haunted? It does seem like there's a lot of like weird spooky stuff happening in here. Feels like some kind of like Scooby Doo adventure, if anything. The woman looks at you and then runs away. You see a police car driving down the street. The police car stops when the policeman sees the woman run out into the road. Um, okay. I saved a dead woman, I guess, from a, from a weird restaurant. I guess I'm going to investigate um, what's happening in the kitchen. You wonder if there is a threat to the universe hiding somewhere in the kitchen. 
Okay. You walk into the kitchen and see a broom, mop, and a bucket. You also notice a small metal disc on the floor with an eye painted on it. There are metal shards spread across the floor. The woman screams getting whoa, the woman screams are getting louder. Hmm. A metal disc on the floor, eh? Okay. I'm going to summon an energy construct of a disc player and stick the metal disc inside of the disc player. Maybe this disc contains some like hidden message for me to find the mission that I'm looking for. Do, 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 do. The disc player turns on and the voice of Frank Sinatra begins to play. The woman screams again. You hear a child giggling behind you. You turn around but do not see anyone there. These ghosts are a bit strange, you think. Hmm. Okay. So you wonder if the haunted, <laughs> the haunted Mexican bar and grill is the threat to the universe. You call out and say, Oh, great expanse. Is this haunted place the threat to the universe? that you would like me to destroy? Yeah, just give me a straight answer. I've been running around like a chicken with his head cut off, trying to figure some stuff out. Uh, but everything makes less sense because I'm in like a weird haunted house. You see a vehicle pull into the parking lot. The vehicle is a yellow taxi cab. The taxi stops near the front door of the bar. The driver looks at the front door of the bar, then looks in your direction and shakes his head. What? I'm going to say, are you a sign from the expanse <laughs> telling me that my mission isn't to destroy this haunted building? <laughs> Because I, I don't know, like, I wish the Expanse would just talk to me. Like, just tell me what I'm supposed to do. The driver gets out of the car and walks over to you. He is a large man wearing a black leather jacket with a gold chain around his neck. Judgebot said, this is a man. <laughs> you gain four points. I'm going to say... What is my mission for today? I want to protect the universe from some great threat. Hmm. Okay, taxi driver, aka a man. What is what is my mission? I lost my keys, the man says. Have you seen them? You check your pocket and find the key ring. You hold up the keys so he can see them. The man walks over and takes his keys from your hand. I'm going to say, I don't know how I got your keys. Um, was this the mission that I needed to complete to protect the universe? Are you some kind of taxi superhero? I, I'm, just, again, just grabbing at straws, trying to figure out what's going on. I am Cabby with the neck, the Cabby says. Do you have any superpowers, you ask? The Cabby nods his head. I can always find my keys. You hear a police siren behind you, and you turn around. <laughs> I'm the Cabby with the neck. I can always find my keys. Okay, cool. Um, that's cool. 
Uh, so then you didn't really need my help to find your keys. Um, can you give me a mission to protect the universe from some threat? Yeah, uh, I've been trying to look for one like all episode, but nothing's really come up. Except for like a haunted uh, Mexican bar and grill, but I'm not sure if that's really a threat to the universe or not. You hear a voice in your head. You have completed your mission. You feel something in your pocket. You reach into your pocket and pull out the metal disc you found on the floor. This must be my reward from the universe. What? What? My mission was to help a guy who has the power to always know where his keys are find his keys. Okay. I'm going to listen to the disc in reverse to see if there are any hidden messages encoded on the disc. Yeah, when I played it the normal way, I heard Frank Sinatra. When I play it backwards, what do I hear? You place the disc on a record player and turn the speed to 33 RPM. You hear strange whispers coming from the disc. You can't make out what they are saying. One of the voices sounds like your mission handler, Frank. Ooh, okay. Um, I turn up the volume and play the message again. Okay. So my reward for doing the key mission is a new CIA mission, I guess. Really weird. This is a very AI Dungeon 2-y AI Dungeon 2 video where the AI just goes really crazy. You hear Frank on the recording. Zach. I'm sorry for the way you had to find out, but the CIA is trying to kill us. You need to activate the failsafe protocol and prevent a futures market from crashing, killing millions of people. Hmm. I'm going to say, this message must be for Agent Zack. But I can try and handle this myself. I'll create an energy construct to help manage Wall Street to prevent any stock market crashes. I'll also create energy... Ooh, lawyers. Well, lawyers, hmm. Create... Energy getaway cars for Zach and my handler. Okay. So maybe that's the answer. I'm not sure if I should have done the getaway car thing. You use your imagination to create three flying cars and three energy weapons that shoot bolts of electricity. You put the energy weapons in the cars for your team. You fly out over New York City and see a huge crowd of people in front of Wall Street. Okay, let's see. So what can I do to prevent a crash? I guess I'm going to create an energy construct of a stockbroker to help prevent a stock market crash on Wall Street. And just hope that works, I guess. Yeah, because I don't really have powers related to preventing stock market crashes. But a stockbroker might be able to help. You see an energy contract floating above the crowd of people on Wall Street. You realize that you need to prevent the crash or your team will be killed and the universe will end. You decide to pretend that you are the EES and join the crowd of protesters on Wall Street. Oh, so there are protesters who are going to cause the crash. Okay. Hmm. 
How are the protesters going to cause the stock market crash? I wonder. I'm going to um, try to convince the protesters that they should leave. Really, really basic thing. Yeah, I'm put in a weird situation because normally superior, you know, come in, punch, boom, boom, pow. You know, these are just people protesting. There's nothing wrong with that, except it'll cause, you know, the universe to end if they keep doing it. You decide to use your EES uniform to convince the protesters that everything will be fine. You land on the steps of the of Washington Mutual and try to get the crowd's attention. I'm going to say. Everything will be fine. Just return home. Everything will be fine. Cool. Maybe that'll work. I don't know why I would need to pretend to be an EES member when I'm actually a CIA agent. Why can't I just be a part of the EES? Oh, wait, what? The protesters start throwing eggs at you. You decide to create an energy shield to protect yourself. The EES has chosen to ignore your protest and not listen to what you have to say. The protesters boo you and throw things at you. Okay, I'm going to say I'm not actually a member of the EES. I'll be honest. I am Weapon Ultra, the famous superhero. If the stock market crashes, the universe will end. I don't know why. I just know that's true. Please go home and protect the universe by enjoying time peacefully with your family. Thank you. Okay, maybe this will work. Just be honest, tell them what you know, and hope that they just go home. The protesters are silent and star at you in awe. Your weapon, Ultra? The EES has kept that from us. Why don't you join us on Wall Street? We can protect the economy together. They try to hug you and prevent you from moving forward. Um, let's see. I'm going to say, yeah, together we can protect the economy. And in the process, protect the universe. Ryan would hate this so much. <laughs> this feels very pro-capitalism. <laughs> Protecting capitalism, protect the universe. <laughs> this is such a weird story. <laughs> you get your picture taken with the protesters and give a speech to convince them to go home and trade with each other. The protesters announce that they will no longer use Washington Mutual and start using alternative banks instead. The economy is safe for now. A, I'm going to say, Oh, great expanse. I have found the cabbie's keys. And saved the stock market. <laughs> I have saved the universe once again. <laughs> Goodness. This is just a weird episode. Normally, Weapon Ultra flies off into space and fights some, like, crazy monster. Or goes on, like, a spy mission and fights, like, super-powered agents. So this is really different. You return to the EES headquarters and give the cabbie his keys. What? He is very grateful and rewards you with, how big is that number? It's not a million. It's not a billion. Is that a trillion dollars? I'm going to say, I don't know how I knew to come here or why I had your keys again. Why are you giving me a trillion dollars. <laughs> do, 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 do. 
This feels really off the wall. It, it almost reminds me of like a flaming carrot adventure. Okay, this is going pretty good. The cabbie explains that you found his keys in a cab he thought was lost for good. He is so grateful he gives you a reward. You are shocked at how much money he's giving you and refuse to accept the money. They refuse to accept the money. Nigga, what? Nope, nope. I'm shocked that he's giving me a lot of money. I'm not refusing shit. No, I'm, I'm definitely uh, taking a trillion dollars. Oop, I'm going to say uh, I don't remember doing any of that. But I imagine that has something to do with your key finding powers. Uh, thank you for the trillions of trillion dollars. And yeah, uh, that's the end of this adventure. Uh, weapon Ultra adventures normally aren't that weird and off the wall, but I do think this one was fairly interesting. Uh, what do you guys think? Definitely let me know in the comment section below and on our Discord. If you guys are a fan of Weapon Ultra and you want to see more Weapon Ultra content, or you just have no idea who Weapon Ultra is, but you want to learn who he is, definitely check out the Weapon Ultra playlist that I have on the channel. If you're fans of AI Dungeon 2 content, I post AI Dungeon 2 videos every day, so definitely stay tuned for the daily AI Dungeon 2 uploads. Thank you all once again for joining us. This is your host, your friend, your boy, Jet Black, the one only, logging out. Peace, guys. Chicken about.